Hey guys, Domain99 here for another video. Today I'm going to show you in depth uh, Bungie Cord, everything that you need to know to set it up. And a lot of you guys had questions on my other videos, so today I'll answer all those questions. But I'll ask you, please, before you ask questions, watch the video. And other than that, guys, I will see you in the tutorial. Hey guys, Domain on Denon here, and so yeah, as you guys just heard, I'm gonna be making you a uh, new bungee cord video. So hope you enjoy. Also hope you guys liked um, my intro. It was you know just explaining. So I'm gonna start doing that. And if you guys want me to start doing more tutorial videos, which I plan on doing, can you guys just slap that like button and leave me a comment and subscribe? You know, really helps me. And I'll start making more videos. And if you want me to make a video on something, uh, I can do that. For it. Nice. So today I'm going to show you basically uh, how to set up Bungie Cord, you know, this cool slash server thing where you can go to different servers. A lot of people, it's complicated, but it's extremely easy when you... Oh. When you break it down. Uh, you might be able to hear my iPad. I have notifications when I join my server. But, um... Yeah, so today I'll show you how to do that. So, first of all, explain, please watch the video. If you have any questions, uh, please just watch the video. I help a lot of you guys, but it's just, I can't help y'all, so. Uh, first of all, so the step, so this is full functioning bungee cord, you know, I can do slash, uh, oh, I'm on slash lobby, I can do slash kpvp, or slash server, kpvp, and it runs and takes me here, so it acts like I joined the game, left the game, you know. I'm on my KPVP server, we, you know, and then here we are, yay, fun, fun, fun. But, um, so, let's start with this, okay? Oh. So, we're gonna run over to console. This is with Multicraft, by the way. So, I'm using Beast Note as a host. Now, your host may not allow... Your host may not allow for bungee cord. You can contact them to figure out if they do, but yeah. So if they do, they usually will have a bungee cord mod right here. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, mod bungee cord. It'll say that. Now, if you see now, if you set it up properly, it will have this symbol. So let's run them into the FTP file access, and I'll show you how to do this. So you're going to want to go to, so when you install Bungie Cord, now uh, with Beast Node, we have a jar folder. Now I installed, of course, you know, um, my own version of Bungie Cord that I downloaded from spigotmc.org. But you can use their standard one if they have it. If you do not have a jar folder, you will install it to the root directory. This is the root directory if I ever talk about that. You just, um, if you can't upload it via upload, get run over to Cyberduck, and you can just upload it here, or FileZilla, whatever you use. So, after you do that, you start your server, you should get something called config.yml. We're going to want to open that up. So, here's how we start. You have your users here. So, as you can see, I have my staff here. Now, I use a couple different plugins, and I'll show you them. So, disable commands. I don't disable any commands, but you can disable commands here. This is the actual player limit. Your stats, you really don't need to worry about. Now, your permissions. Um, so, this is for Bungie. So, BungieCore.command is like for uh, slash list slash. I mostly add that for my admin group. You do not have to have this many groups. It comes standard with just admin. And I added slash server, so I can do like slash lobby. And I added Bungie admin tools. Um, but, so. Yeah, so this, whenever you read something, this is Bungie Proxy Permissions. This is where you put the permissions, and then you can manually set them. Their group, you can only do that manually. So now, yeah, so Bungie Core Command slash Server, I only let my mods have that, not my standard people. No, no, no. And then, yeah, you have this. So this is the max players. This means it's infinite. So I have 100, that's what it says. So the fallback server, I'm not sure why this is up here, but fallback server is when your default server is down, your, this, you connect to this server. I have it as lobby, but I per, but I actually shouldn't do that. I'm going to actually set that to kippvp. Sweet. So the host is the IP and port of your bungee cord. 
Now, remember, you don't need very many uh, megabytes of RAM for your bu for your Bungie, but a lot of hosts, if you get like 256 megabytes of RAM, you have to get a dedicated IP, which means you have a 25565 port, so you can just enter your IP with a or a domain. Which yes. So that's this is the host of a bungee cord which we are on. And also if I didn't explain, bungee cord you need a separate comes complete server. You can't have like bungee cord and look at them the same thing. So now this is right here, bind local address. You shouldn't have to worry about this or this unless you're doing more advanced features, which I can make a video about. Tablist global ping will show you the tab on everybody who's on the server. Right now it is kind of bugged, but you know, you can also set this to just server, you delete global ping. But yes, or you could just set it to global, which is the same thing. The default server is what you connect to when you join if you have default connection. Forced host is like pvp.myip, which this does not work, but it's for the demonstration. This will connect me to the KPVP server. So whenever I enter this IP, it'll just forward me straight to the PvP, even if I have um, forced default server. So tab size, you should know that. Force default server. Every time I join, unless I join through a forced host, it takes me to the default server. This is an MOTD, message of the day, you should know. Query, you shouldn't have to worry about unless you want to have something cool on your website so you can, you know, have a little players list like my server on my website. Uh, I have my, see myself as online. Uh, for that's for the query, so that's the query port. This is how long before you time out. The connection throttle, um, just keep that at 4,000. If it says to you when you join connection throttle, connection throttle, go keep this at 4,000. You might see other people who say, oh, put it to negative 1. No. Keep that at 4,000. Put your bucket servers, bucket.yml, at negative 1. You'll work like a beauty. So now here's your servers with a name. I prefer capital. Your IP addresses with ports. Restricted, false, so that means people can join it unless they. And the MOTD for the server. You will, a tip, you'll see the MOTD of the default server. So here's KPVP and Skyblock, of course. IP forward, that's if you want to have it so when they join, so that if you're on a separate server and you have an IP checker, like I slash IP check, it'll say their actual IP, not just the hub server's IP. I don't do that. And then, of course, online mode. So that's everything there. Now, you have to set your offline mode everywhere to offline. So here, server.properties, you want to set this. You don't have to worry about the query in here. Uh, you don't have to worry about like enable nether or any of that stuff here. Um, because that's not really important here. MOTD. Yeah, none of that's important here. Because Bungie Core takes care of it all. I'm just seeing. Did I enable offline on your online mode? Online mode false. Yeah, you turn this one off and also on all your subservers. You know, we can just run into the FTP for the subserver. Lobby. Yeah, uh, you want to set all these defaults. So now I'm gonna guys. So now I'm gonna show you the plugin only proxy join. Hang on. Or so only proxy join is a plugin. So that let's say I try to join through my IP here. Let me run into my Minecraft. I try join on this. Now this is my lobby. It'll say, please connect through the proxy. That's how you set up only proxy join. That's the coolest plugin to people who have offline mode. They can't just connect to your server. So that means you're not going to have any silly hackers on your server. Or offline cracked people. So that's basically that. Only proxy join is so simple to configure. You'll open up the configuration and you will run and you'll just have to enter your server type. And it explains how to do it easily. So I'm not going to give you a tutorial, and you should, and it is available in the bucket plugin section. Only, oh my god, I can't spell. Only proxy. It's also available, you know, straight at Spigot MC, which I can put the link for. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is server. So now, after you, so also a, 
uh, command on bungee cord is slash end restarts. You don't have to just stop and restart your bungee. You can just, um, uh, type slash end and it works fine. So I'm not, I don't need to do that. So now, um, all right. So now I'll show you how to create an easy, so that's basically it for this video. Um, so now you have bungee cord set up. Um, I can make a different uh, video on some plugin stuff you guys would like soon, which like a uh, portal plugin. Um, yeah, some portals because this is a very cool portal plugin. See, I can just jump in and I'm back here. So, um, slash server. Yeah, that's a cool plugin. Yeah, spigotmc.org. You can if you go to the proxy section, that means that they want you to install it on the proxy. Uh, the proxy, we mean, you know, uh, the bungee cord. And if it's a bucket plugin, it's like, you know, Hell Helper or something, that is going to be installed in the bucket. So, yeah, I hope that this was informative for you guys. And if you have any questions after watching the video, um, just drop me a comment, a like, and I can respond to it as soon as I can. Okay? Thank you for watching.